Meanwhile, another Fox News alert for you this morning as we await two major decisions from the Supreme Court. Yesterday, the high court granted the appeal of a Washington state florist who was fined after she refused to sell flowers to a gay couple for their wedding. The case now heading to lower courts where they will figure out how an earlier Supreme Court case involving a Colorado baker affects this case. Joining me now is Baron L. Stutzman, the florist at the center of the case, and her attorney, Kristen Wagoner. Thank you to both of you for being here this morning. Uh, first, Baron L., I want to get your, your reaction to the Supreme Court's decision not to take up this case. Well, we were, we were related that they're going to send it back down to Washington State Supreme Court. And in Jack's case, they have said that he doesn't have to choose between his faith and his livelihood. And that's what we're hoping that the Washington State Supreme Court will also say. So now, Kristen, this goes back to the lower courts. What do you expect there? Well, we expect to have a fair hearing. The court in Masterpiece Cake Shop said that both sides of the marriage debate deserve to be treated with respect and that their beliefs shouldn't be disparaged that they both belong in the marketplace, so we're hopeful. So, Baronel, could you kind of give us the, the background again on your case? And, and, and you re really wound up at the center of a firestorm. I suppose you could have never predicted this to be the case, but, but what exactly occurred here that, that resulted in this ending up in the Supreme Court? Yes, this, this was not on my bucket list when uh, Rob came in to talk to me about his wedding, and I've waited on Rob for 10 years. And it has been a joy. But when he came in and talked about his wedding, I just told him I could not do it because my faith in Jesus Christ. And he said he understood. And we talked about his wedding and mom walking him down the aisle. And he asked if I would recommend another florist, which I recommended three. And we hugged each other and Rob left. It's a fascinating case that has captivated the nation. And now, in light of this masterpiece cake shop decision, Kristen, perhaps you can give us some sort of idea, as this heads now down to the lower courts, how that is going to affect the decision making and the result of, of this case. Well, the Supreme Court wiped out the Washington Supreme Court decision in Baronel's case and said you need to reconsider her case in light of what we said in Masterpiece Cake Shop. And the court in Masterpiece said that religious hostility by the government has no place in a pluralistic society. And again, affirmed, as it has done before, that people of goodwill are on both sides of this debate and that all Americans should not be forced from the marketplace or the public square because of their reasonable belief that marriage is between a man and a woman. Baronel, are you still actively uh, active with your business at the moment? Yes. How has it affected I'm business very, for I'm you? I'm very thankful and very grateful. How is business? Uh, business has been business has been steady. People are very uh, they support us very well in our area, so we're very grateful for that. Kristen, it, it is going to open a much bigger, a much much bigger question, perhaps uh, um, you know more serious disagreements down the road, perhaps, as to what discretion and or what circumstances businesses can refuse their services or their products to same-sex couples. Where do you expect this to go long term? Well, I think the, the other side has mischaracterized what we've argued for at Masterpiece and what the courts decided. This isn't about denying service to anyone. The only cases that are being litigated here are to force people to participate in custom work, handmade, hand-tailored, uh, one-of-a-kind work, and to express a message or celebrate a religious ceremony. So this isn't about denying service. Baronel serves everyone, and she welcomes all people into her shop, just as she served Rob Ingersoll for 10 years, knowing that he was gay. Well, Kristen, thank you. And, and Baronel, thank you for telling your story. And, and you are a, a business owner. And as you just told us, you're still actively in your business today. And, and we'll continue to watch this as it heads to the lower courts now. Thank you for coming on the program this morning. Thank you. Thank you.